What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. Today we have another awesome Ultimate Home Networking video. Today we're going to talk about backup power in your home network. And we're also going to install this backup UPS inside of our network panel. That's right, inside the panel. But wait, I know what you're thinking. How the heck is this going to fit inside a network panel? <laughs> and if you've watched our videos, you know we have nine devices in that panel. And it's already very crowded. So there should be a challenge, but I think we can do it. So make sure to watch until the end of the video to find out. So without further ado, let's get started. So if this is the first time you're watching my channel, this is my network panel. And this panel is really crowded. And somehow, I have to figure out how to put this UPS in that panel. <laughs> but don't worry, I've got some ideas. So this UPS is from a company called APAC, or APC. This UPS has seven outlets, surge protection, auto shutdown software, quick mute, and one USB charging port. And this UPS is all black, and it looks pretty sleek. This UPS is 360 watts, and has 4.3 hours of runtime, and is designed for home networks. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. And this is the owner's manual and a power connection cord. And this is the UPS. We need to open the bottom of the UPS where the battery is, and we need to connect the red wire to the battery. When they ship the UPS, the red wire is not connected. And I'm assuming it's for safety issues. So go ahead and connect the red wire and put the battery back in the compartment and secure the lid. And then next, we'll go ahead and remove these papers and this sticker. This UPS is pretty large and pretty heavy. And what's nice about this UPS is it has two mounting holes. We may use those. So on the side, it has a USB data port and a button for the circuit breaker. On the opposite side is some slots for cooling here. And this is the power button a USB charging slot, and seven outlets. All are three-pronged. And once again, these are the mounting holes. And this is a cable that plugs into the USB data port. So now let's go ahead and see if we can mount this into our network panel. All right, so my plan is I think I need to move some stuff around a little bit for sure. If I'm gonna get this back up into here, if this is gonna go in here, there's gonna be some movement. I may get rid of this cloud it's already full I could put this somewhere else I could put it up here on a shelf or I could put a different room so probably get rid of this I think that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do this will make some room also I need to move this up there's a lot of room here I mean I could drill holes here and just bring this up run these straps through there and then this would bring this up about I don't know inch and a half maybe and then my plan here is this power strip, I'm gonna move this as well. Uh, I may end up moving it to one of the sides or stick it to one of these sides here. It's just in the way. So now I'm gonna start moving things around. And first thing to do is remove this old two terabyte cloud. And by doing so, this freed up a lot of space. So my main thought was to put the UPS at the bottom of the network panel, if it'll fit. But first, I need to relocate the fiber modem. Luckily, everything is connected with Velcro, which makes it easy to remove devices. I'm gonna move this right here. This is the this power strip. It should probably be somewhere on the side. I think once I get everything moved, I can zip tie this probably to here or use, maybe use these to uh, hang it on. Uh, we'll see how we're gonna do this. Good thing is if I hang it here, then I can plug it in right down here. No problems, it's real close. 
that. <clears throat> really ridiculous. It's a really bad place to put all this stuff. It's just, it doesn't work. It's not working. So basically, at this point, this is a total remodel of my network panel, which means moving devices and definitely organizing wires. I reorganized this network panel several times in the last couple of years. And if you've watched my channel, you've probably seen some of those videos. And I really hope this will be the last time I have to do this. And that backup UPS better fit the bottom, or all of this is for nothing. So right now, I'm unbundling wires. And these are all Cat6 wires. So as you can see, all these devices are connected to this white bracket. And here's a quick rundown of these devices. The Lutron Bridge Pro, the SmartThings Hub, the Kivo Plus, and the Ruckus ICX Switch. And this bracket is connected with two screws, one at the bottom left and one at the top right. So I'll remove the bracket and drill some new holes right above the old holes. And this should raise the switch up about an inch and a half. And by doing this and removing that old power strip, I'll have more space for the backup UPS. So this panel I'm removing that has the switch and all the hubs was installed by Amazon. And our house was built by Lennar Homes. They offer the world's first Wi-Fi certified home design. And they also partnered up with Amazon. So after we moved into our new home, Amazon came out and installed the Ruckus switch with the three hubs and the power strip that I had to remove. And Amazon did a decent job installing this. However, we need to make some improvements, especially to save some space. As you can see, the Ruckus ICX switch is attached with Velcro straps. We'll go ahead and remove that and drill new holes at the top and at the bottom. This will raise the switch a little bit higher, about an inch and a half, which will give us more space in our network panel. And as always, be careful when using a power drill. So I drilled four new holes. Each hole is about an inch and a half higher than the old hole, which should raise the ICX switch a little bit higher, about an inch and a half. And guys, if you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and share it. And if you love this video, hit subscribe. It's free. And don't forget about my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. So now let's reattach the ICX switch to the bracket. And we'll attach it with three Velcro straps. And we'll put the SmartThings hub back in the slot, right here. Now let's go ahead and remount it in the network panel. Remember, it's only two screws. Easy. Okay, now I've got things a little bit better as far as more room. Although this is a total disaster at this point. I think I may have made a bigger mess than I intended. Um, and my first thought is I'm gonna bring up the switch and probably put it up here. Um, and I'm probably gonna put the fiber modem up here as well. Maybe right here and then, or right over here or right somewhere around here. And then I have a lot of space here. Here would be perfect for the UPS if I have room. This still may not work, so we'll see what happens. Cross your fingers. Okay, first thing I did was get some 14 inch standard cable ties and hopefully this will be strong enough and long enough to support this if I can get this mounted up here, that's the goal. Also got some double sided sticky tape and in case we need to mount stuff like this or uh, remount this. Um, so we got that as well. So we can start cleaning this up and see if everything will fit. Still no guarantee, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, we have the first set of wires that go into the ruckus right here. So I wanted to get them all kind of put together here, except for these three. These three go to my hubs. Those are separate. So I'll, I'll Velcro those and I'll tie them separately. But this is the first set. 
looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna do the rest of these wires and then I'm gonna move the switch up to here, somewhere over here, and then I'll have the room, hopefully, for the UPS. We'll see though. And then I'm also going to double size sticky tape this right here. So we'll attach this HDMI over ethernet extender to the side panel with this tape. This is double sided tape and it works well and it's pretty strong. All right, now I've moved the wires up and pushed them up into the cavity. So this is further up. Also organize the wires back here. They're all organized. This is, goes from the, uh, the hubs, all three of these. So these are organized. The hubs are organized. Now I'm gonna get these all, um, I'll get these Velcroed all together and then we'll go ahead and mount this somewhere here. All right, we're looking way better. And I did move my fiber um, modem here, Velcroed it, and it's not too bad, it's okay. And then over here is the switch. I got to figure out whether I'm gonna, whether I'm gonna use some double-sided sticky tape and just stick it to the panel, which is kind of permanent. Not really wanting to do that, so I had to figure out another way to attach this. And then I have to rewire, kind of move things, unplug things, and I'm gonna to try to put this in and see if it'll fit. And if I can, I'll use these zip ties to zip tie this in place. What I decided to do is I'm gonna do two Velcros. I'm gonna tape one to the back of this and one to the back here, and then I can push this on, but it will be a temporary. I can pull it off whenever I want, but it'll be fixed on pretty good. This way it's not permanent. I think this will work. So I've got double side here. I'm gonna put this one on the back panel first with this, with this Velcro sticking out, and then we'll go from there. So, something like this. Something like that. And we'll put it on the back here. All right. There, you can see it's on there, and then I'll tape one to here, and then it should stick to this. Like that. So I could do is put this on like so. And now press it on. Sure the wires are out of the way. And we'll put it on like that. Press it for a little bit. There we go. Now I gotta clean up all these wires. And then I'm gonna attempt to install the UPS. Alright, these were not long enough, so I just attached two zip ties together, and that should work. I'll nip this off and I'll cut that off, but this should be fine. Um, let me show you. It just go around like this. It should go around. I can do two of these or three, but I think I'll do two first, and we'll see how it uh, how it works. Next thing I need to do is plug this in before I do anything. And I'm going to start plugging things into here and then I'll move this up. And we got it going here. It's beeping. So, let me show you here. So, I'm plugging into here. So, we're all good here. Like that. Okay. And now we can start plugging things into this backup power. And FYI, these power connectors, the ends, the plug in, all seem to have strange configurations and shapes. And this became an issue when I tried to utilize all seven outlets. And because most of the power connections were very large, I could only use five of the seven outlets. It kind of sucks, but that's how it works. All right, so this is the true test and see if this actually will 
work or not. So this seems to be in the way. I think I can move this. It's only got one screw and that's what's going to happen. So after removing the Ring Elite power injector, I have more room for the installed UPS. And now we'll see if this all works. It would have been nice to have an extra pair of hands to hold the UPS while I secured the zip ties. But today I'm flying solo. So here we go. All right, we're gonna mount the Ring Elite up here. And there we go. We're here, I'll also go ahead and push these cords up, get them out of the way, and then we can tidy things up. And we fit it in, amazing. But I got a lot of tidying up to do, so I gotta plug in some of these over here. So I don't have to use that, I won't have to use that uh, surge protector. I just want to use one here and that should be enough with this, so. Alrighty. Alright guys, we're all done. I can't believe we finally finished. It looks great. The wiring management looks perfect. Device locations are optimized. But the best part about this is the UPS. So when we lose power, and we will eventually, we'll have power to our modem, both of our switches, our router, and even our MVR system. And one more thing, this has a USB charging port so we can charge our phone or our tablet. And guys, there'll be a link in the description below where you can buy this UPS. And guys, I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it.